source of inspiration for you as a designer? Anything that kind of inspired you to be who you are? I learned about sort of classic poster designers in high school with a teacher that I had. Uh, I went back to the 19th century and uh, up, to the, up to the present, and I wanted to be a poster designer. Uh, but then there are artists whose work I really loved, especially the ones with a sense of humor like Saul Steinberg and even Ben Shahn, where I learned how to do flat, work flat. My work tends to be very flat. Those people inspired me, but also there were painters like Goya, even Daumier, with whom I learned something about not wanting to go to war. I think a lot of designers and artists who are coming up today are trying to find what their aesthetic is while at the same time making themselves marketable to the current market. Where would you balance having your own style and niche versus doing things that people need you to do? Always doing things that, uh, that meet your own sensibilities here uh, that is accessible to the, your client and ultimately to the public. You develop your own style here and your own ideas. And hopefully people will understand it and appreciate it. Your work has to have character so that it can look like everybody else's. Uh, but the ideas have to be understood. Which means that students always have to have a sort of general education in everything. Mm -hmm. right? They have to learn as much about everything that goes on, including history and the future. Yesterday when you were showing work, so you used so many different mediums like crayons, colored pencils, paints, um, steel, I think. Which one would you say is like your favorite to work with or do you have a favorite medium that you use? I pick out the, uh, the medium that fits what I'm Probably. trying to do, of course. Mm -hmm. I love doing woodcuts. That's great because it, it's sort of part of it is mindless, sort of cutting out. And there's a little bit of physical thing in here, which I, which I can't do with a pen that has to be more delicate. Right. But that, that, the pen also has its own thing, so I like doing that. Um, yeah, I haven't done much with crayons, but you never know what my next medium would be. <laughs> so, talked about the Push Pen Graphic publication and mentioned that you were in another job and position for creating your own studio to do that work. What gave you the motivation or what uh, helped you make that job? Well, I was getting fired from uh, those jobs that I had, which, <laughs> which helps. Um, every job that I've had, I've, I've been was fired from, except the first one, which for the New York Times, which uh, was a terrific job because I was able to make little drawings to go with little promotion ads. It was in the promotion department. So I was able to, to spec type for the first time because I had just been out of school. It was my first job out of school. So after that, uh, there's nothing left for me to do but to start a studio with the metal laser and that's around a rough and skin shortly after that. And we already had a, a place. We had a, we had a loft uh, on 13th Street in Manhattan trying to, uh, to do work, get work. No money at first, but trying to have fun. If someone told you today that you could no longer be an illustrator or designer, what other career would you want? Running a candy store. <laughs> 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 <laughs>